Hey, so what's going on everybody? So I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your bootloader and then root the Google Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet. And um, first thing you want to know is this voids the warranty on your tablet and you're taking a chance doing this so you want to be careful. Follow everything step by step. There's an, an absolutely awesome uh, toolkit that I'm going to show you guys how to get that does basically everything for you, offers a ton of support, and there, it's a really, really awesome toolkit. So just make sure that you back up and save all your stuff, and this also possibly voids your warranty. But you can always um, unroot and relock your bootloader, and then your tablet will be back to normal like factory, which I'm going to make another video showing how to do that. But first, first things first, let's do this one right now. Um, what you guys want to do first is make sure that you have your developer options on your tablet enabled. So go to all apps, go to settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom. In between where it says printing and about tablet, you should see something called developer options. If you don't see that, then what you want to do is select about tablet, and then you'll get the information here on your tablet. Down here where it says build number, click that about oh, seven times or so. And it says down here you are now a developer. Okay, all you got to do now is click the arrow back and your developer options are listed right there. So uh, select developer options and by default it's turned on. What you want to do is come down where it says US debugging. And what you want to do is enable USB debugging because this allows you to communicate with your computer back and forth to your tablet. So once that's enabled, click your home button and then we'll jump back on the computer here. So now you have USB debugging mode. Your developer options are shown. You have USB debugging mode enabled. Now we're going to be able to communicate back and forth with the computer. Real quick, I'll show you guys what I'm using here. I'm just using a standard Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit computer to do this. And the website you want to go to is called Wugfresh. So Wugfresh.com. And then click the link at the top. And this thing called Nexus Root Toolkit is absolutely awesome. These guys offer a ton of support. It's I, I'm not going to say it's fail-proof, but it's almost fail-proof. <laughs> so just click that link, scroll down until you can find where it says download. And then the first link here, I just choose the first link, the exe file there. Click that, and it should download for you over here in the lower right or where whatever browser you use. I'm using Google Chrome. So mine's going to pop up down here for me. I've already done this a couple of times. I've unlocked the bootloader, rooted the device, and there it is now downloading. And then I unrooted my device and relocked the bootloader, and it's all back to factory stock right now. So, All right, so once you get this downloaded, go ahead and click it once. I'm going to minimize my browser so you guys can see here. Click Run. Choose a directory to install. I'll just leave this all as default unless you guys want to do something different. But if you're following along here and you want to do this carefully and the way I'm doing it, just leave all as default there. Again, make sure you guys backed up everything on your tablet before doing this. What you're going to get is a little icon pop up on the desktop and you'll probably get some notifications down on the lower right side of your computer. Now, okay, you can actually get to these, what it's asking here, go back into all apps, go to settings. The information that it wants is under about tablet. So the information is down here in this screen. Okay, the other thing you can do here is now that you have the other options enabled, just plug in your USB cable that came with your device into your tablet. So I'm gonna plug in my cable And I'm going to get a prompt. Allow USB debugging. And it's asking for an RSA key. It's telling me the computer's RSA key fingerprint is blah, blah, blah. Just go ahead and check mark the box there that says always allow from this computer and click OK. You should get something similar to that. And you may get some drivers installing in the lower left. Now what's really awesome here is you just simply select auto detect and build. And it, everything is listed for you. It knows exactly what's on your tablet. Click Apply, and it tells you how to enable USB debugging, which we already did. 
And like I said, you can pause this and read through. There's also some other helpful things here, but we're just going to go ahead and click. Okay. And it's going to tell us you, what you want to do here. The toolkit would like to download this, allow it to do that. So I'll just bring this over. You guys can see what it's doing. It's just doing some downloads. Basically, you're just following along with what it's asking. The TWRP recovery, you want to download that. So I'm getting a prompt down at the bottom. It just says all uh, everything's up to date. So now here's our Nexus Root Toolkit. This thing is fabulous. So what you want to do first is unlock your device. You want the bootloader unlocked in order before you try and root. So the first thing you do is unlock your bootloader. You can go through all this stuff and just just so you guys know right now it's going to wipe out my tablet because it does that the first time that it unlocks the bootloader so just follow through the prompts it's going to get you into fast boot this thing's so awesome i mean it walks you right through everything on what to do down here it says I'm in a locked state right now. It's going to come up and prompt you and ask you, do you want to unlock bootloader? May void warranty. Go ahead and s actually you got to use the volume up keys over here to choose yes and then press the power button. Unlock bootloader device volume keys, then press power button to select it. Let me just make sure I'm pressing power button. Okay, there we go. Guess I wasn't pressing power button hard enough. But anyway, press your power button. And now you can see down here there's a little lock. It's actually unlocked. I know my video is not 100% clear, but it's unlocked. It says, wait for your device to finish booting up. Like I said, it prompts you here, walks you through everything. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. You could probably skip this entire step if you guys already know that you have a lock down there showing unlocked on your tablet. Right now it's just going back through and it, it's going to boot back up. It's probably going to go to the welcome screen and I'll have to go through that quickly before we can actually root the tablet. But this is a very important step. You have to have your bootloader unlocked. More than likely this program being as awesome as it is would probably tell you if you're not unlocked. I'm not going to edit nothing in this video. I'm going to let everything play through. Even if this video is 10 to 15 minutes long, it's important that you guys see all the steps so you don't brick your tablet or get it in a, stuck in a boot loop or have issues, which this toolkit also offers a ton of information and helpful pages full of all kinds of good stuff under advanced utilities here. All right, so I'm back at the welcome screen. Let's get through that quick. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi. So it's going through and connecting to my Wi-Fi.
I'm just going to tell it I don't have one so we can just get back to our desktop. Let me tell this who it belongs to. Paste my name in here. Setup is complete. Just going to tell it OK. And one thing you need to know um, after you do what it did was unlock the bootloader it did a factory reset so you have to go back in to your settings and add the developer options back in again see it disappeared printing an about tablet what it did is a uh, factory reset to unlock the bootloader so go to about tablet go to the build click that six or seven times until it says you are now a developer click back now you have your developer options listed select the developer options come down where it says us uh, USB debugging check mark that tell it OK you'll get some more prompts at the top there it is gonna ask you for the RSA key fingerprint again check mark always allow then just click back to get out here to your home screen and if you want to check if you're connected you can scroll down it says USB debugging connected so you can see there that you're connected now that you've done that you can go over here to your desktop select custom recovery make sure you check mark that click root click OK down here now you can see it says lock state unlocked so it's going to be able to go in and root Root's good because some of the apps that you download uh, require a root. So this will be helpful or whatever you guys are trying to do. Just says waiting for your device. Device detected. If you guys have any trouble, it says pushing root files to your device. I'm just going to go ahead and my screensaver turned on and it turned off the face to the tablet. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change that real quick in the display. Well, it won't let me. I'll let it keep going. I was going to change the timeout for the display so you guys could continue to see, but like I said, you don't have to touch it. If you just leave it sit, it goes right on through all this stuff. There it says flashing custom recovery. Booting TWRP temporarily. Rooting the Nexus 7. So you can see it goes through a series of reboots and a lot of prompts on your desktop to your computer screen. There it says Android is up, upgrading. Let me see if I can go in and change my display settings before it does something else. Just want to turn sleep on for 30 minutes so the screen don't shut off on you guys. Okay, it says to finish up the process and check and make sure you are successfully rooted. Has all this good stuff here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so now what you guys are looking for is down here, it says Quick Boot. So go into your all apps 
and you're looking around for this here, it's called Super User and Quick Boot. Stay up to date. Oh, I'm going to tell it no thanks. Okay, BusyBox. I'm going to open up BusyBox. And I'm going to go ahead and say Grant. I'm going to close out of that. So you want to go into BusyBox. It's going through. Give it a minute there to go through and do some updates. One thing you guys can do also is go where it says will be installed to, change that to xbin, and then go back to your home screen. Okay, so that's it. Right now, I'm rooted, and that's all there is to it. So right now, if you guys are on your tablet and it's running real slow, just give it a reboot. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and download this stuff and give this a try. It's absolutely awesome. If you launch where it says Advanced Utilities, there is a ton of utilities and things you can do with this program. Um, you can back up and restore. It's just awesome. So right here at the where it says Initial Setup has a full installation guide. I mean, it walks you through everything, explains everything. If you run into issues or errors, it's definitely worth downloading, definitely worth trying. So that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a great one. Please like, subscribe, comment my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.